Masters, and all I have is crap singles. All right. <laughs> all right. We are rolling. Camera one. Rolling. I didn't know you had to go run to, to rolling. run to wardrobe real quick. Yeah. You can get your podcasting I got jacket. Brand new hoodie. I like it. Five years previous hoodie. Retired. Yeah, you gotta treat yourself. You do. You Where gotta, did you buy that hoodie? Uh, it looks very utilitarian. Like that could have come from a loves. It, I got it from Jeff's house. Jeff, toy. Bezos. Oh, you got it from Amazon. Yeah. Is that an Amazon Essential? No, this is a Hanes. I was gonna go with the Amazon Essentials because it was like five dollars cheaper, but I was like, mm. treat yourself. Hey, I'm gonna, you. you know, I'm a real American. And he's got to be breathable. You're gonna have to, you know, attack a lot of people. You get to leap from behind buildings at people with that on. Uh, Did you try the hood? Does it fit over top your ski mask pretty well? It does. Good. Have you seen the um, Have you seen the new podcast that uh, Alex has been working on? Alex Hernandez. No. It's called. Uh, Shit. It's not a very good name for a podcast. No, I'm going to have to go back. It's called Bob's, and they it's a UFC reaction uh, podcast. So we watch the fights, and they react to it, and they wear ski masks. Jesus and it, Christ. It's, it's very fun. It's, it's a lot of fun to do. We've done two of them, and it is... Also, that's why you fun. snuck that in. You're also the producer of that. Oh, yeah. I'm also... We also shot it right here. Well, let's worry about our podcast. <laughs> well, I was just saying... And then we can worry about Bob later. Well, uh... Let's worry about Mike. It was fun. I, yeah. What's up, Mike? What's up, buddy? Mike Field, this is John Bass Podcast. I think is it's that mine and that's yours? 26. Which one do I look into? Either one. You, yeah, they're both. We're in the frame of both. Okay. But that's aimed at your beautiful face there. Well, those are words that don't belong together. But how are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Can they see those pants? I fucking hope so. Holy shit. Sorry. I grabbed my, I grabbed my crotch a couple times. On camera in the Dude, past. Dude, if you had any kind of career, you'd be canceled already, like five times over. Oh yeah, you're dude. gonna be very canceled. If you if you'd like to cancel me, just come to Timmy's or Chevy Chase Inn. Why is that where you get real aggressive with your comedy? Yeah, that's where I do all my best work. <laughs> At Timmy, two times and uh, what was the other one? I don't know. You don't know what the other one? CCI. That's your mic. It is my. That's mic. a fun mic. I've done that mic one time. It's one funny. time I did that mic and you got mad at me. I did. I did get mad at you. You know, furious. We stomped out of her. You turned. You gave me the sassiest. Oh yeah. Nineties, eighties, nineties rom com. The best nine hundred two one zero. Mad I've like got. you're you right. Whipped dude. it around. I was like, oh man. I gave you. And in that split second, I forgot. No, I'm not married. I gave, yet. <laughs> I gave you the and best nine hundred two one zero. Keep history. you happy. I we I feel like I think we, my exact words were you gotta be fucking kidding me <laughs> and I turned around and left but I love you I wasn't I feel happy like we've known each other for about a year now because it's I feel like I met you around this time last year because I didn't start until November of twenty one and I didn't really meet you or Jeremiah or anybody other than like Trina and maybe one or two other people until I feel like. In 22. Well, you came in. Uh, it's been a year. It's been fucking crazy, but it's been awesome. Yeah, and by your timetable, you should also have been. You already should be selling out. You were like me in the beginning, though. Like you wanted everything yesterday. Yeah, I got like, home. You f- you fly quick. through. Yeah, I got home. I think about the third time of just. You've made. You've done good. Getting stage so time. Much. No, I remember the moment it was when I was like, "You've got to try harder." Is Micah. Looked me dead in the eye, in all seriousness, and she said, "You probably shouldn't do this anymore. That you're so bad at it." Like she was, and, and she was, she wasn't wrong. Like I was, had a couple yeah, terrible yeah. sets. So she's Rogan, and you're Brendan Schaub. Yeah, except for except he's good at comedy. Who Brendan Schaub? <laughs> Is he? He's great. Did he have the twenty three minute special on Netflix? So does that none of its credits. So does, uh, so does it's a twenty-three minutes special. So shout out my boy uh, in Cincinnati, <laughs> Which Andrew. One? Andrew Ruddick? No, other yeah. guy, uh, Andrew Riggs. I don't know also that. has a special. You don't know Andrew Riggs? Andrew Riggs. 
I don't think so. Oh well. Um, no, there are some good. There are good. If you do have a following, man, there are some good specials from people from Cincinnati. Lee Kimbrell, Phil, Phil, just Blake Hammond, Phil Pointer, Rand Barnacle. Uh, 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 Weir, Chris Weir. Chris Weir's is really good. Yeah, they're all they're Chris all Chris Weir's special is real. Good. They're all they're all very very phenomenal. They're very they're super talented comics. Cincinnati is an amazing spot. It really is. Yeah, I'll be there. We're very lucky to be adjacent, and that they're very cool with their stages up there. They let us get up. I had planned to go up there last or tomorrow night um, for hi fi and all that. Hi fi's fun. I miss that makes me miss Jack. Jack but, was cool. Uh, yeah, Jack was a nice guy. Jack Snodgrass. We're we're name dropping a lot of He's regional it. comics right now, but most of the people I didn't know you had an international reach. You know, I have a little thing, and it shows me every country and place it downloads. How are you are, doing in the Ukraine? Uh, better in Russia than the Ukraine. <laughs> is that how they get? <laughs> them to, is that really, how they get them to come out I of their houses to go fight the war? And they're like, you can stay here and listen to this podcast, this, or you can go down, or you can go get into the meat grinder. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't believe the numbers. Out of Russia, have you though. come out more publicly with your pro-Putin stance that you had that you shared with us at the beginning of the war, or you know, have you softened on that? You know, he can like ride a bear, right? This Probably, EMF or ride I think bears. He, I think deep down he would prefer a twink. But yeah, you, you think he's gonna blow everything up? I don't think he's. It It'll matter. probably be my, the first time I get a chance to headline a club or something, and it'd be like an hour before it's time. <laughs> Play like Mike I, yeah, Field. Yeah, what's uh, What's the biggest club in West Virginia? There is no comedy club in West Virginia. There used to be a comedy zone in Charleston. What's um, like? What's the? And it was in a Sheridan, so it was adequate. So like Mike Very Fields. <laughs> Mike Fields sells out the Kentucky Theater. Sure. Homecoming. And Putin's like Lexington. You, you are finished. That'd be my luck. Lexington. Then, yeah. You think you are so good in horse capital? I don't think. Judging by the way the rest of his equipment works, I don't think we've got anything to worry about. I don't think those fucking things are going to get in the air. You think you're so good with your horses? And How long have you been holding on to this Russian accent? Bourbon. You been waiting? I don't to know. Do it's that? not good. It's going in. Well, and out. I mean, don't sell it short. It's not awful. Can you do any accents? No. No. You, I, I wish I could. That's why. That's the one thing about Dan Soder I really, 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 really love. Dan Soder's so funny. His accents. He is funny, but did his accents that, uh, are insane. Did you see that video where he uh, they convinced somebody I forget where that uh, it was Big J and they were talking about they said something something Dave and those people Dave Smith. Yes, they thought it was Dave Smith, and that, those people thought he meant Dave Chappelle. No, it was Luis Gomez's email. Oh, okay. And so they thought he was talking about Dave Chappelle, like, we're the best of friends. We've known, you know, we grew up together. But they were, the lady who called thought it was Dave Chappelle, so they got Dan Soder, like, on three-way, and he did a Chappelle live on Legion of Skanks. You, you, you watch Legion of Skanks? I, I, I catch it sometimes. It's funny. I used but, to be a big bonfire guy. I used to love the bonfire. They still have it, I think. I need to. Yeah, I, I, have, I haven't had exit like, for a while. Know. That's the only, or you can watch pirated versions of it, I think. Yeah, fuck that. I put money in their pocket, but yeah, I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could do more uh, impressions. Yeah, I, I mean, I think they've got their place. I wouldn't want to be an impression comic. You know, I'm still trying to get prop comedy to make a, a second coming. Like with stuff. <laughs> Deep down, that's what I want to do. Really? Yeah. Like, like carrot those top. little tiny hands. Oh, but, really? but everybody shits on him, so you can't publicly like carrot top. Why can't you like Carrot Top? Uh, I respect the shit out of him. Dude, the fucking, what's he do a night down there in Vegas? Three nights? Or yeah, three shows crazy. a night? And he, I think he does like... Six days a week. He does it for like four months and he leaves for a couple months. He comes back yeah, for a couple yeah. months. It's insane. He, and he's making fucking... It's a Vegas he residency. In huh? I thought he was in Orlando. He lives in... Florida. In a shit... Florida. Yeah. Shit fucking Florida. Goddamn shit Florida, but... Which it's not ah, fuck it. I'm not gonna get into Florida, but uh, I've heard. But yeah, he just he flies between there and the and and back. They fly him. I think he gets to use the fucking one of their jets or whatever. Dude, I bet he's he, got it made. I bet his shows are so cool. I bet they're so. I mean, much he's fun. entertaining. It's like the Amazing Jonathan. I, I love the Amazing Jonathan. The reason the Amazing Jonathan is so cool is because he never got super famous. Yeah. 
as soon as you get super famous, everybody finds a you know a reason. Chappelle was the second coming of Jesus until they tried to start knocking him off for being the greatest. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, oh, now he's doing it's like as soon as it's comedy, especially like Amy Schumer, she had her big break, and then it wasn't three months later. She's like, she's a show thief. It's like she had, these people, you know. Yeah, just can't. We cannibalize. We can't have anybody up there too. Yes. David Tell, he knew what to do. He's like, get here, but don't go there if you yeah. want to be the comics comic. I heard um, Louis C.K. talking about recently. He's been doing a lot of podcasts because he's I've seen that, yeah, there's his specials and stuff. Um, it was this past Saturday. Do list movie. But he, uh, he said something like he remembers doing like the something in Ohio, like the date and funny bone, whatever, one of the funny bones in Ohio. He was like, and I remember going with my friends, and and we had so much fun, and I made so much money. He was like, I he was like, I could have kept doing that forever. He was like, it was plenty to 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 pay for my life at the time, you know. So it's like, there's so many different goals, you know what I mean? There's right. just like, I, 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 yeah. I've been if I could just to, do comedy for a living and make the same money I make now. I'd be a happy, happy son of a bitch. You're not too far off, are you? If I could book further out than six, eight months, I think she'd let me do it. But I'd have to quit. Mm. Doing a lot of these little shows that are break even or lose shows, which I like doing those. I think they end up being fun. But you yeah. usually break even. Because, I mean, you know, you go... Four hours for a hundred dollars. You're like fuck, but it's fun. Hmm. And it looks good on a calendar. You like your new job? Yeah, that's cool. I really just good hours and fucking, you know. Yeah, not to look at dicks, but oh yeah, there is that. Are you allowed but, to talk about that? I mean, dude, I do drug testing. I think people will probably draw their own conclusions. So on that. supervised. We, I have to. It's called. I, we do observed. You know, I've got a medical background. I'm not going to get into all that, but. So you've got to. They pay me a pretty decent amount of money to. You've got to watch people watch pee in cup. Yeah. Well, I got to be in the room. If they give me a reason, like after a while, you know what it sounds like in any deviation. But there's like a mirror. So. Do you think you your background in like, whatever I guess law enforcement. I was a paramedic longer than that. Than I was. Okay. Was a but I mean, yeah. But it, you're. You have a long, I mean, it, that's but I, yeah, but I worked in corrections and I yeah. did, and I worked over there at the university and stuff. But uh, it's fun, you know what I mean? Like not that part of it, but like I love the, the people I work with. <clears throat> um, the clients are awesome. You have to wear scrubs. I can if I want. I, I told everybody like, no, I don't wear scrubs in the winter. I don't wear pajamas when it's fucking twenty degrees outside, and no one said shit. I wear this is I wear this to work. Nice like this. And you just stand there with your hands in your pockets like. No, no, no. It's a little face, and I because I have my paperwork and I'm gloved up and I have the lid, and you know, as long as it sounds like it's a very routine thing, I, we just you know we're, I'm in there just to make sure they know they can't pull any shenanigans because it's noticeable because the temperature is you know what I mean. But you can. Why are we talking about piss tests on this podcast? Maybe people may find that interesting. Maybe we could do the, the piss test I think podcast. So. You know, uh, I heard you I could I can tell a lot of people a lot of things about it they didn't know about. It. About what? Drug like, screens and tell us. Pain and pain. We'll have to get into that. Why? Because I mean, no, it's just a, it's long and boring. I like but it. it's interesting um, about um, how fallible uh, paper cups used to be, or like the ones that are immediate. Now they're pretty good. But I thought you could buy but the synthetic are, there are, piss. That that all oh, that like, stuff's worth every penny. It'll it can't catch it me. cannot be caught. But it's could, everything that P has. It's urea. It's it's got. All the electrolytes you you'd see spent and spent urine. So if you just you, gotta get it to temperature enough to fool the handler that it's it's coming out at ninety between ninety four and ninety nine degrees. So if somebody came in with that with you in the room, would they be able to pull it off? Is there like a or can you see their cock or vagina? I have a part of the agreement when they ask clients of, of their particular services. Um is that I'm it's observed and that, yeah. Okay, like, so like you, if I have to, yeah. Like there's shit. a mirror. There's two. There's like, they set up mirrors so I can stand in the back. So there's no way they could. There's they no. Could, there's no way they could fake around. the folk. 
Is that more for But like, they do have – now, that being said, uh, you know, they do have the prosthetic – Things now that'd be hard to get a hold of in their situations because usually they come there and they don't have a lot of money or you know, yeah. they're coming in for treatment. But um, you know they do have the prosthetic ones. If you had to do it for a, but most companies, unless it's a DOT thing, hmm. most companies aren't. It's not a witness. Like if you're going to, most jobs are not going to require you to have somebody watch you. Yeah, take a pee. But a DOT does, and like if you're going to work at like a. Certain sensitive jobs, I'm sure it's a little different. Do they do people like have to that are on parole, et cetera, have to come in and do kind of? Stuff? We don't. I don't handle any of the correction stuff. We just do people in residential treatment oh, okay. and outpatient. They, we do outpatient too. Um, which is the last company I worked for. This the couch is so oddly uncomfortable. You just got to turn. Jesus Christ! Just, it's like a porno couch. Yeah, just kind of lean on it like this. Just let your let How yourself. How do you have sex with Luke on this thing? Let, let He's it so go. slippery, and this is a very slippery couch. I say this to Luke. I say, let it go. Let yourself go. Slow and low. Who would win in a fight between you two? That is the tempo. Between me and Luke? Between you and Luke. Uh, I would... I would, I would say with great confidence, I would beat the hell out of Luke. Great confidence? Yeah, wow. dude. He's fucking 20 years old. He's like... Yeah, he has the spunk of a much younger man. But he has the Which probably is a thing he has that the you're mobility of a much probably, older man. Yeah. <laughs> that young spunk. I'd, lo I'd love to. I'd love to challenge Luke to a race. I could probably beat him. I'm not. I'm not. I'd pay to watch that too, though. To be no, honest, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do. I, I have too much uh, pride. Yeah, to do shit. To do that. Yeah, I'm too. I'm an old man. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna get out there and run around? I. I Monday. Mm -hmm. No, Sunday. I ran an, under an eight minute mile. Damn. Yeah, and I have it on there. I can prove like it on my phone. treadmill or like no, like and on their little track at the line. Nice. Oh, upstairs. Mm -hmm. I love it. I like the steam room. Oh I want my own steam room. I want to go to a steam room where I can. Do they have a be cold naked. plunge there? No. Well, you can go in to the pool, but you have to shower before you go. So I just but go they... in the steam room for about ten fifteen, then I go take a cold shower and I go home. Ah, uh, okay. So the okay steam room cold shower. Yeah, I, but yeah. everything's co-ed, so really, yeah, you gotta close, yeah. So there's no oh in the pool, the pool, the hot tub, the sauna, and the steam room. Oh, they're okay. all co-ed gotcha, too. Gotcha. Supposedly one of the wives they're separated, so you, you know if you wanted to go in there, rock out with your cock out, you'd be able to. Um, Which I could see why, like when it's it feels good on your skin, you know, I mean the steam oh, yeah. does, but and having clothes on sucks. But so you just go in there and like but, in the towel. Nobody wants to see a bunch of old sticky balls, human balls, uh, sticking to tile. You know what's scarier is if there, if you walked in to a sauna and it was like ten old sticky balls, guys. I'm, I've done that, and then but one just like, just one kind of like crazy middle aged lady, just like in there, just loving it or hating it, just in there, just posted up it? like she doesn't give a fuck. That would be pretty tight. That would be pretty. Uh, Aggressive. I would not. She'd be the last person I'd try so, to fight in the sauna. <laughs> if it was her or Luke, I'd fight Luke for sure. <laughs> Dude, Luke might surprise you. What if Luke? What if Luke knew karate or something? Do you think he knows? He might. He's into. Weird I think shit. two things. One of two things would happen. <laughs> one, the the minute you came at him to swing. He would fall down and ball. Up, I know, right? Would or he would just start swinging wildly, and then you never know what that would lead to. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, how many fights have you been in life? I used to fight a lot, in when I was a kid, not a lot, but I fought when I needed to fight. I was a fat kid, so I got people were like, "What?" Yeah, you had to fight know? enough. Yeah, I, know I what would you mean. fight. But I would make fun of people. Like I was very, I was more quick witted than actual like fighting. Because once you get what to like, what happened to that? I don't Where'd know. I fucking turned it around, I guess. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna do a camera check. Yeah. Let's do a camera check. What did I do with my content? Camera check. Still going strong. Ten million strong and blowing. That's from a uh, what commercial that? The Flintstones. And their vitamins. Oh yeah. You gotta adjust your balls. 
balls. Oh, dude, everything. Let me adjust my balls. So, yeah, I don't like this couch. It's very pornographic. That's why I love it. It's very casting. You want to trade places? I don't think that's going to help. I mean, I think. Uh, but yeah. I uh, like the. Uh, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight anybody. And I would love to watch you two go at it, though. I think it would be. Because you won't. There's a lot of sexual tension between you two. Or tension, whatever. Whatever the origin of the tension is. Sexual or otherwise. But. He is, he's wound tight. I, I'll give him that, too. Oh, like, he's not me. innocent in anything. He got best set of the night at my mic the other night, and he left. Yeah, he had $25, and McDonald's was open for another 34 minutes. Is that what he thought? No, but I guarantee you he went. And, oh, yeah, he left. He probably big time. He probably got two filet of He fish. left. And you he, know what? It is? This motherfucker looked me dead in the eye, and he goes, Mike, quit wasting your money. Get the McDonald's app. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? He goes, quit wasting. Like I get, and he goes, you're going to think I'm kidding. I get two McDonald's, two medium fry, and two Cokes, whatever. You'd think it'd be 667, but it ain't. I use the app. It's 438. And I'm like, God damn, bro. Nobody would know what he to, to, be. to the To the fucking scent, he can tell you what he said. Yeah. But, you know, that's his Rain Man. That's his only yeah, that autism was, ability. That was my uh, one of my roast jokes about him at... 21st was his autistic superpower is knowing where every McDonald's is. Yeah, that's funny. That's why uh, I told him, I go, Luke, you, you talk about being autistic and how you barely missed not being. I was like, dude, I could have told you you don't have autism. You're not good at anything. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a special power. Did he? I thought he was going to come a little harder uh, in the roast. He did not. I thought he was a little... I don't know if he was a little more timid because... Yeah, I'm Where a stepdad or whatever. It was but, a comedy club, wasn't it? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I want to have a roast battle here soon. I don't like him. I'd like the, I'd like the writing exercise. I would much rather write for somebody than do it again. I just don't like it. You want it. to host one? I the, would host. Be the MC. I would host, especially when I could say shit in the middle. You know what I mean? Like if somebody yeah. burns somebody, if I could talk shit. Because I kind of want to have a, I kind of want to do a roast, but I, I don't want to host it. I want to either. You want to be in it? I either want to be part of the band playing music. Well, let me introduce you to a and, guy from Indianapolis. And I can comment. I can, fuck that guy. He could suck my dick, Brad Wrigley. Hey, Princess yeah, Leia. You're an asshole. Calm down. I don't down. like, no, I don't like that because you got all that hair. I'm slipped. gonna have to beep it out, but it's gonna be funny. I love beeping it out. You just clip all of it because everybody's gonna know exactly what the fuck. Nobody cares. Nobody likes him anyway. So fucking. He's a. Isn't he like a weird pedophile or something? Jesus Christ! I don't. I don't like think that. Know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I think they call that libel. I'm gonna sue you for libel. Get out of here. Get out of there with that hate speech. God damn it. Don't you fuck make, make fun of my voice, you piece of shit. Our accents are southern, but so different it's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have uh, that, south, that South Appalachian that a lot of people mistake for I'm from kind of gay. And I don't mean that. Oh, yeah, yeah. West Virginia, the Mingo, McDowell. Like, my Lindsey Graham impression is based on those people from those areas. Like, yeah, because I'm from, like... Jesus Christ, can you believe that? Child's in the best pussy there tonight. Just I'm smashing that. It's like, oh, damn, dude. Dude, well, I smoked for 20 years. Yeah. Imagine how high my voice would be if I hadn't done that. But I haven't smoked in three, so maybe it's just restored itself to its original. Yeah, I quit I don't smoking, know. and my voice never got any better. How long did you smoke? 15 to 36. Oh, shit, that's a long good. enough. I smoked like my parents like they, 21. To, you know, I was a, such a shit kid, but why? I just was a shitty kid. Did you used to get in trouble all the time. Oh Jesus Christ! Like, that's an understatement. Just a fuck up. Just a complete fuck up for most of it. Like what's like um, what's like one of the worst oh, shit you got into? Dude, yeah. I fucking. Kicked out for smoking in the bleachers at school for some reason. I don't know why we did it inside. That was dumb. You smoked inside? Inside. Like at a, a gym. Game? Yeah, dude. Dumb and fuck. Uh, incited a riot at a soccer game. That wasn't really On my January fault. On January 6th, right? No, but. Yeah, you were there. No, it was been in November. I remember the text. You were yeah. like, hey, dude, check out where something. I am. I was at home crying on my copy of the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> check, he was like, check out where I am. Where we go when we go all. <laughs> Dude, I don't really Hashtag care. Mike Fields comedy. I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, <laughs> right, what? Hashtag Mike Fields comedy. <laughs> the 
this guy. <laughs> where we go, where we go. Sorry. I mean, I, dude, I mean, <laughs> there was a senator from West Virginia that was there. He was newly elected, and he was loving it, loving it. Oh, and, yeah. Until it was called sedition. He's like, I wasn't there. And they're like, dude. But we have all these tweets and these videos. He goes, that wasn't me. <laughs> it's like, well, that's you. What about that one guy, that, that senator, I forget his name, but he's like basic. He got elected, but everything he said was a lie. All lot. that. Uh, Carlos something. Car no, it's, it sounds like Santos, but it's the other one. Like George Santos. George, I ain't talking about a little fucking right wing, whatever. Yeah. The, what do they call those? The Proud Boy. You ever seen in like. How'd they end up with the gay men's choir name? A hate group. Proud the Proud Boys sounds like a gay men's choir. I bet I could join. I but they're like, well, no, we hate gays. What's Get your name? Here, well, we, we, you know, pride. We want to hear pride. Pride's not gay. Well, <laughs> we're, okay, we're, we're past tense. We're proud of it. <laughs> of being gay. No, the hate. <laughs> Fucking. Oh my God! Yeah, those guys are those guys are a hoot. America sucks. They're dude. fucking rascals, you know. They are. Don't take rascals. They're a bunch of rascals. You don't get to say rascals. Like you don't rascal? say it. You don't say rascal very well. You can't say rascal anymore. You can. I can. Why can't? Because you don't say it very funnily. Rascal. How do you say it, rascal? He's a real rascal. A real. real rascal. He's a real rascal. He's a real rascal. real rascal. And I just say rascal. I don't Vladimir now. He's a real rascal. Oh, He's you know rascal. old Vlad. Oh, Vlad's a rascal. Uh, have you ever been out of the country? I have been obsessed with that war. You have been? Dude, you there is there? there are so many goddamn videos of drones just flying along with fucking hand grenades underneath them. Like they go, drones? Well, sometimes. <laughs> no, they're like commercial fucking Radio Shack drones. Drones. They just have them rigged to like still take the like you can take a like a 44 millimeter propelled grenade and they can they rig those up or they can take a hand grenade and rig those up and they fly up and you'll see every now and again they'll see it coming and they'll just or they won't see it coming they're just like hey man this russian mre sucks and it's like Wah! and like they're like what was that and then, oh it's the fuck it's a hand grenade and they so it's, and it's all on video is it ukraine uh, drones on russian soldiers most of the ones that i see i don't watch dude i watched a video on uh, it's called the YNC.com. It's kind of took the place of Best Gore when Best Gore shut down. I watch weird I shit on the internet. Dude, it's uncensored, like beheading video. It's like crazy shit. No. It's, it's, it shows you how depraved humanity is. But there was a guy, and he was apparently a Ukrainian soldier, and you could tell his hands were tied. You could tell he was panicked, and he had like a bandana shoved in his mouth. And there's another guy, he's talking in that eastern... Whatever, yeah. that yeah. very Russian accent, whatever that scary fucking sounding language is. Uh -huh. And then the next thing you know, that guy's laying down. Like, he's like this close to that guy, and he's talking shit. And it goes, and then just goes whoop, with a knife right in the fucking throat. I popped him and walked off. Just nuts, bro. Yeah, that's Dude, that place, we have no idea what's going on over there. Dude, like, they, Russia, almost 200,000 Russians have been killed in that fight. Two hundred thousand. That's crazy. And it's not even a year. It's not even been a year. But that's always been. That's his stupid fucking fault. But, but he don't care. That's always been Russia's uh, go-to is just throw throw people. Yeah, at yeah, it. yeah. That's absolutely. That's the, the dude. Their doctrine is so outdated. Like they really think that they're just like they could not account for the fact that. America had the javelin and British had the in-law, that little, hey, it's like a bazooka, right? Mm -hmm. We'll fuck up any tank. You can't do shit about it. And they just, they didn't, they would like trap them in like a city and blow the first two up. So they just, they're yeah. pinned in and blow them. They're just, they're, they're pulling tanks out of museums to use, dude. Yeah. Russia is, is all he has to do is leave, motherfucker. I he, forget, won't, he won't leave. I forget who it was, but there was a guy that was recently I heard on a podcast. I think it was on Rogan, and I forget his name, but he was like an expert on like geopolitical shit. Yeah, he gets some good guests like that. And he just broke it down, and he like as far as I can simply remember, uh, the Ukraine, and then on the like I guess on the other side, I guess. Uh, east of kiev mm -hmm. there's a there's like a lot of uh russia's crops 
and minerals and mm-hmm. a bunch of shit are there. A lot of a lot of natural resources. And, and without that, without access to that, Russia starves. And the Crimea's ports are super important. And so it's like, is he going to give their up biggest gonna... enemy through the ages, ever you know, post Stalin, was NATO, right? Yeah. So the agreement was they would never have a, they would never admit anyone into NATO that has a border with Russia. And then that started to break down. And now you've got Sweden and Finland wanting to join. And they have, you know, Finland has a direct border with yeah. Russia, like a pretty long one. And now Poland, you know, Poland did years and years ago. But I think that's the only one that was allowed. But then so they said, we're not going to get the Ukraine. They said, we're not going to get the Ukraine. And then they started uh, in 2014. They roll in there. And nobody does anything. We don't do, we don't do shit. Yeah, we just let that motherfucker roll in. And everybody said, all right. So that's why he thought in February he's just going to roll into Ky- Kiev and oust that old dude. And, but he didn't account for. But that we've been well, evidently we've been Western and, and European countries have been training their army up since 2014. He had no idea what he was getting. The intelligence breakdown must have been so bad. Yeah. Because they're all afraid to tell that dude no. So, so they just told him whatever he wanted to hear. Yeah. And so. So in the meantime, arms dealers are probably smuggling American weapons that we sold to Ukraine. Or I'm, Dude, I'm they're sure using old there's no trail. Moise and get. fucking rifles from World War II. I mean, they would love to have an AR or two. Where'd they but, get those fucking rockets? Is that old technology too? The the Ukraine, uh-huh. we get we that's the aid we're giving them. That's what I'm saying is yeah. we've been aiding them yeah. with like we've been, badass. We've been shit. oh my god, I mean not even the good shit. Now the good shit's on its way. Well, that's what I heard. The M one A A one, the M one A one Abrams is on its way, and it's like one of the best. And so is the Leopard too. That is the best tank in the world. I, th- I heard they're they're giving them a bunch of tank. We're giving them a bunch of tanks and other equipment that's like for us. It's like game obsolete. changing. Well, kinda, but it's not like really. Bullshit. But not now. Not the what we're the tank we're seeing now is our 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 modern MBT main battle tank. It's crazy because like but twenty years ago, we the, want to win this. Twenty years ago, Foxy it was won. it was the Republicans was everybody, but it was mainly more right wing people pushing the war. Yeah, and now it's everybody. It's everybody, but it's... But now Republicans are getting worried about the price tag, the price tag. But it's like, man, when it suits you, the price tag isn't a problem. But I wish they it's would. all fake. It's all an illusion. I mean, we don't... There's no yeah. money. We don't have gold to back money. Yeah, but I mean... We're, I, watched, I, I watched an economist talk the other day, and he's talking mm-hmm. about the economy is a balloon. Yeah. And if you're going to make that balloon last, you got it's going to go up and down, yeah. up and down, but it needs to have a steady medium. But he's like, since the housing crisis of 2008... To make it not suck like every other country had it suck for that five, six years, like Greece and all these other times to kind of reset their economy. We just propped it up. And, dude, he was talking about that balloon. In flight. And now we've not let the air out in so long. He's like, when it pops, it's going to be a – it's going to suck. Yeah. But I don't know how when that's going to be, but it's probably in the next five years, I'd imagine. Yeah, I don't think um, – I think we could definitely, like, have some serious problems. Like in the next I mean, what are you set up to do? Can you survive? Could you survive for two weeks with no, with no outside food or water? No. See, that's that's where most people would get fucked. Like if you had, I can. How would you get water? I I have bought water. Oh, you have like yeah. stockpiles of Not water. Not stockpile, but I have. Could you just buy a bunch of filters and then you could? No. What, where are you gonna get the water from? If how are you gonna get out if it's a nuclear thing? That's what I'm saying. Oh. Like, like the the Dude, theory is drop a bomb, the Mormons have die. to have enough. I think it's weeks. Mormons? Yeah, like they have to keep on hand weeks, if not months, worth of supplies. Why would they? Aren't they? It's part of their their, their church's doctrine to just be ready, be prepared for to be self sustainable. I think is the I mean, outside of the crazy stuff in the Mormon church. Mormons are usually pretty fucking. I think the South Park episode captured that pretty well. That. It's pretty great people, but the Mormon fit, like the, at the tenements of Mormon is is crazy. Yeah, it just, like it John all, Smith. It, it all just fit. <laughs> all right, guys, hold on. 
Let me oh, see. you're not gonna believe what Jesus said. He was the he was the <laughs> L. Ron Hubbard of the 18th. Yeah, absolutely, fuck, dude. I have thought the very same thing. Same. Thing. He he. I think L. Ron looked at that guy and went like, I could do that better. Because didn't didn't John Smith? He like. The he fact got, that the he got excommunicated bill. somewhere in Indiana, somewhere. He tried to, like, start something, and they were like, get the fuck out, dude. You're a shithead. Yeah, he liked, uh, I think he liked uh, polygamy. He was big into polygamy. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, who's not, you know? I'm just joking. I don't know. It sounds I've like, seen that Sister Wife show, and I wouldn't want to fuck. Me neither. It sounds Any hard. of them, let alone three of them. You know I mean, I mean? One wife is m- more than dude, enough. My wife's amazing, uh, but I couldn't. But yeah, keep but up with two of her. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. One's enough. At one hu- well, who One's wants great. two husbands? Jesus Christ, two husbands My wife like a lot less of me. Two people that might potentially like beat the hell out of you. You know what I mean? Like it's like, yeah. <laughs> so that's not what I mean. or love you kindly. Yeah, most of your jokes involve domestic abuse. I know. Why are you? Are you gonna be John the domestic abuse comedian? Mm-mm. No. I think I'm just trying to raise awareness. How is comedy it. going lately? I haven't seen you get up in a couple of weeks. Uh, good. Uh, just been, you know, trying to fucking work hard and get better and cut out what, you know, I've tried not to hold on to. If it's not working for a few times, I, I usually... Are you eating your vegetables, brushing your teeth? I have. Well, I bought you'll some grow up to be a good comedian. I grew. I made some uh, venison roast. With brown gravy and mushrooms. Where the fuck did you get a piece of deer meat from? Oh, I, you, uh, from my family down in Tennessee. But not, you didn't kill it? No. I haven't killed a deer in a long time. But I can get deer for you. There's tons of deer. I just want they just some roast them. or something I can shave down and make some jerky out of. It's good. It's my first time. Dude, I made Deer jerky is the... Dude, beer, deer, jer- deer anything is delicious. My wife doesn't like it. I made hamburger out of it. Uh, I got, See, it's a little. It's not fatty enough. It was. Me, right? I, I think it was dry. mixed with some pork. Well, that would help if you get some pork fat. It was like it, I good. think it was like eighty twenty, but uh, it was it was good. I really liked it. Oh, dude, that's a, a pork roast or a, a deer roast in the crock pot. So good. The uh, um, au jus packet. What is this stuff? Onion. Uh Livers or gizzards, you know how they taste. Um, do chicken. not. You don't like them. My mom loves those fucking things. I cannot. But you know when you bite them, it's a gritty. No, I've never, never had one. You've never. I've never had a piece of organ meat. You've never had a gizzard, a fried gizzard from motherfucking Lee's Chicken. Holy shit! Oh, I didn't know they changed their name. I thought it was just Lee's Chicken. What did I say? Motherfucking Lee's Chicken. Oh yeah, motherfucking Lee's Chicken. <laughs> I forget how you black people are. What do you mean, you black people? <laughs> you heard Whatever it. Whatever don't mean you. <laughs> uh, I was the only white kid in black history class in high school, though. You, you all did not have to take it. You had to, no, it was an elective. Wait, black history was an elective in your Kentucky or Tennessee school. In '99, it was. But that was well. Attended. We learned about black history, but the the class um, U.S. Black History was a separate. Elective and all right, so they did mention black people outside of that class to the rest of your classmates. They did, they did. Uh, I'm like black people. What do you mean, black people? It's crazy because down there, Tennessee, I feel is way more diverse than Lexington. Oh, not Lexington, you might say Kentucky as a whole. Well, Kentucky as a whole, but Lexington too. Kentucky is, is a is is every Appalachian southern. Yeah. Place except for Lexington, Louisville, Bowling Green, Owensboro. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, I love it here. I'm not saying I love I'm it. Just saying uh, but well, the Lexington Metro because Richmond's pretty cool, Georgetown's pretty cool, Frankfurt's pretty cool. That little I do not like Richmond. I why just not? I don't know. I just don't like it. It's got it's EKU. Just, it's uh, it's suburban. It's suburban heaven. That's uh, I just don't. It's just not. They got my, their Walmart and their Meyer and their Kroger. I think that's what they I don't love, like. They love it. it down there. I think that's it's like Owensboro is like middle class Mecca, dude. They've got uh, they got the mall area, and then they've got flat corn homes. Yeah. And I think those like nicer. It was small, like this. Little, it was crazy. Good place to crazy. grow up, probably. Good place to have a good like fun, safe childhood. I bet. That, but that's where I grew up. Taze Valley, West Virginia, was that way. Really? Super. I'm going to do a show there. Tate's Valley. Taze. Taze Valley. T a y. T e a y s. T-E-A-Y. Taze. It looks like it's T-E-A-S, but it's Taze. Fun. 
Uh, but I'm doing a show there February 18th. That's the Conley's Irish pub. It's the day after. That's the day the after. Sh- don't tell. Well, I'm going to tell my listeners because oh. they've tuned in oh. and they've made it through. This is probably 40 minutes. I'd say we're at. Yeah. Uh, don't tell Lexington's coming to Castlewood neighborhood in in Lexington. But I'm going to put a link in the February. 17th. I'm going to put a link uh, down below for the tickets. I will say this. I am producing this show, so please come if you listen. And to it's this. gonna have, please buy a ticket. It has some great fucking comedians on. And uh, because it means it's not. I'm not just saying buy a ticket because of me or because of anybody that's on the show. But bigger than that is if if we do good at this one, they'll want to do more here, and it's a huge spotlight on everybody. So please come out. Please buy a ticket. I mean, it's twenty five dollars. I know that's a lot, but. If you're around, please buy tickets. It's worth every penny. Yeah, it'll be a great fucking show. We've got six comedians and me. So that should be, <laughs> and then me. So, you know. When did you start brushing your hair? Taking the, comedy serious? I should, or when did I? You should. I do brush my hair. No, take comedy serious. I do take it. Do you wear a suit and tie? No. Then you don't take it that serious. Do you ever? I've never seen My you God. in a tie. I never get on stage though. You're always in a Canadian tuxedo, so. Canadian tuxedo? This isn't denim, dipshit. It's canvas. Uh, is it really? Yeah, it's made out of hemp? Yeah, you know, something like that. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. Where'd you get? Is that from like a. It's the, called White Tails Unlimited. It's from the modern hillbilly. That's pretty that's cool. That's what it is. It's got a antlers on the side, even though. I have is that a Christmas and, gift? To myself, yep. Nice. It's called a shacket. What's the sh- shirt? A jacket. A oh, shacket. okay. I'm a. I like that. I'm. A, I'm a shacket. Well, dude, I like, it's the right weight. You can wear it indoors and out. You stay the same same temperature. It's nice. Made out of hemp. For the fat bet, guy on the go. For the fat guy on the go. White tails unlimited. Can you look in the camera and say shacket? Shacket. No. Shacket. Say it one more time. Shacket. Way to harmonize, buddy. I think we're so. Gonna, when is this uh, you and Luke fight? When's the rumble in the? I don't know. I don't. I've, the uh, fumble in the bumble. I think. I think. I want to see a rematch, but you're hosting. We're gonna. You're gonna host. I'll I'm re- not rematching that kid. He's ill-equipped. I, I really, I'll do it. really was. This will like, be three. I, the, this is the, the trilogy. The amount He's of won. shit Luke Willoughby talked to me, <laughs> and his lack of delivering. On any of it, it was atrocious. Those are nice cameras. I don't know why this one always fucking like stops. My my Canon does that. Like it it it, it, it will video for twenty eight minutes and then it shuts the fuck off. Oh. It's weird. It's a setting I've got to fix. But God yeah. bless it. God, God I caught it. Yeah, I don't do it the whole hour. Just give these people what they want. So, comedy for when was your year? You when bit. was your year anniversary? It was the first Sunday in November, a year uh, of 2021. So, so that's been a while. So now you've been doing it a year and three months, three months, I guess. two months. Uh, November. 20 would have been, I believe, I guess the seventh would have been my first day because I did Craig's mic. The first time I saw you it was uh, when you tried to beat up Madison <laughs> and tried to fight Madison. You're like, listen here, you bold pussy. I did not. I did I not like, say that. I did that's not a weird call, thing to say. I've never called anyone a pussy. That's not true. I didn't call Madison a pussy, though. I wouldn't have. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, I knew. I, a, I knew. He I was, is not the dude. Yeah, I was dancing. He's a very nice guy. Yeah. I, hey, I like Madison. But a I'm lot. almost we positive. Are, we are very nice. He is a, now. what do they call him? A sleeper agent? Yeah, I wouldn't. I think he can tap into it every now and again. But I think, I yeah, think he's, he's a, a Sean Claude Van Damme kind of guy. He's a big guy. Especially when he trims up, too. You're like, fuck it, dude. It's a big, he's just a big fucking dude. Yeah, he's big. He's His big brother's guy. a big boy, too. Big boy. Um, <laughs> we big boys. <laughs> what do you mean you can't do hilarious impressions? Hey, we're big boys. 
Uh, what do you call that character? I call it the. Uh, <laughs> I know what I, I got one for it. Scrand. Scrand. What's wrong with that? You can say that. No, I will not. Stop. Oh, dude, I did come up it, it with totally the funniest goddamn premise of a, for a, a, a terrible, like, oh, it's so bad, but I love it. Are you going to tell me? No, that? absolutely. Not on there. No, no, no. Oh, man. This is, it's, it's the a worst lot of, That's a lot of... Uh, yeah, sorry. Playing, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. We'll bleep that part out. you with the jokes. Oh, no, no. It's, uh, I'm it's so bad. I'm, I'm, I'm very ashamed of myself to some degree. I don't think I wrote but jokes so this weekend. You've been doing it a year. Year and three months. Are you good? Um, I would say that you have some good sets. I don't know. I don't. I don't. For me, I, I try not to compare myself to other people because it's not. It's not. It doesn't matter. It's not. It doesn't matter. That's the thing. Yeah, it's like saying which band is better you than the other band or different. You will never be able to judge how a, a comic will be received by other people. Yeah. It's exactly. just, you do not know what the kind of comedy they're up for. Yeah. All you can worry about is are you funnier more times than you're not? I, because universally appealing as possible. I think right now I'm I'm maybe fuck it, between two fifty and three hundred. Like as far as a pound, pounds? An average. I am two fifty between two fifty and three. What are you pounds. talking about? Like a batting average. Oh Sorry. okay. I'd say I'm maybe two, maybe 25% of the time. I'll do good. So, so one out of four sets you will call good. For myself. But I'm also very hard on myself. You kill it? Sometimes. You've killed it? Once or twice, I feel like I have. What's killing it? Uh, For you? Last week at Caravan, I, got, I think I got as close maybe as I've ever got. What day what? It just, I got them going and they laughed the entire time. Nice. And it's nearly. I yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the telltale signs. Like, if you just get a, a continuous, keep going, yeah. I was like, I really started to... Especially when it happens earlier, like, well, fuck, if you like that one, wait till, yeah. wait till I get to the good ones and shit. I, I find uh, talking to people makes, calms me down. It really does. So on stage? That, yeah, or anywhere. You're, you can't waste time on crowd work right now. Yeah, I'm not. What's the longest set you've been able to do? Like hosting. Hosting at CCI. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you, you can't. And they're going to get tired of your. You can't do the same material over and over. That that shit sucks for no, you and it sucks for I them. I, I try to just be in the moment. And that's, and that's the skill you, that you're, you get to build. That's the payoff for hosting. You get to build that. Off the cuff practice kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't want to just be like, oh, let me throw in a little piece of crowd work. Here yeah. For my setup. It's, it's such a it's, it's such a hard, hard concept. concept. I love it though. Uh, everybody does. I mean, it, the to look good on stage doing crowd work like Sam or Mark or or any of those guys, it looks great and it's a skill you gotta have. But it comes in time, and I think that, you know, a lot of times comics. They want that too soon, and don't worry about. Learn how to tell a joke, and so you know how to write them quick, and then you know what I mean. So everything yeah. kind of builds itself. Some people just want to jump into it, and the, and that's fine if you're good at it. But you can alienate them easier than you think. Yeah, the entire true. audience uh, with just one bad joke, and you cannot work, especially if it's a short set. Yeah, so now you've wasted time. Fiddle dick and doing crowd work instead of working on your material. And now you've pissed them off. So now you're going to try to try to fix it. So if you're doing a three to five to seven minute open mic set, you just killed half your set yeah. trying to fuck with one person. Yeah, it's just not worth I it. I generally don't try to do it in a five minute set. If yeah. I have 10, like when I did. But the majority of your sets now and for five. the next year and a half, two years are going to be of the 10 and under variety. Yeah. If it presents itself, it's one thing, but you shouldn't go looking go for look, it. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, uh, but you have to be ready Yeah. at some point. Yeah. Because if somebody's funny and the crowd's funnier than you, you can either, you know, I guess you can acknowledge it and try to move on, but fuck that. Well, I don't, I guess. Crush all resistance. I don't really, like, um, feel any need to, like, find someone and then roast them that's not 
That's not what I'm looking for. Say Tyler. that for everybody. On that. I'm genuinely just wanting to communicate with someone. Yeah. And that's sure. like, I think that's maybe just. But, this, but that opens the door sometimes because even though if it's meant rhetorically mm -hmm. or even if it's not, like mm -hmm. you're just trying to engage them. It Maybe it's not that person that starts involving, but they think, oh, well, they, I, want to, I want attention like that. And, and then now screen. she's going to start. It's just not a good practice. You, you ask all questions into the ether, and if somebody, you know, that's probably like watching, you know, these comics are doing it a while, and somebody pipes up. They've got a quick, it's not a mean thing, but, it, but it's enough that they know, but, hey, they didn't like that, but it didn't make anybody upset. Because I've said it before, and... and I think Jeremiah said the other night, too, you know, like it gets a real uh, daddy hit mommy on Christmas vibe in a room when you yell at an audience member and that sucks. You know, that's why. Yeah, I don't. I just crowd work. I got that. I don't know. Have you ever seen, I feel like you, I, have you screamed at somebody? Oh, fuck, dude. I've lost, I've, yeah, yeah, it I doesn't work. Yeah, I feel like work. I've seen you scream at a couple people at Maria's once or twice. Nah, I wouldn't say scream, but I definitely, definitely said shit to raised you. Your oh, dude, at Maria's maybe, but you know that I, I miss, miss that Maria's. mic. How do you say? I miss the tacos more than I miss the mic, but the mic was fun. Is today Taco Tuesday? No, it's fucking. Today's Man Monday Man sucks. Man Man today Monday. is. What a shitty day too, and it's getting shittier out there. Why rain? It's supposed to snow like an inch and a half tonight with ice. Are you fucking yeah, it's supposed to start like any time now. That means possibly no school tomorrow. Actually, they told my middle schoolers to plan on not having school tomorrow. NTI, they're going to do it all online. No, what the fuck? That fucks up my day. Oh, I don't know. My daughter is 16. She got her permit today. Congratulations. I, I met her. I didn't meet her, but I saw her. You saw my daughter? Yeah, she was at Girls, Girls, Girls with your wife. Ex seemed to be ex. Are y'all divorced, divorced yet? We've been three years. We were divorced before I even started. Oh, I thought you were kind of going, had just gone through that. Well, you, was, you cry I, a lot for only three years or for three years. Yeah, I'm a crier, dude. I'm emo. I'm That's just, fun. I'm a... I cried tears of joy and anger when I got divorced. I've never been so happy, but not. We were. I was very uh, happy. We. But I remember the. No, day. dude. Like we were. I was miserable with. Um, so I was happy to be free, but. Yeah, me too. You also go fuck. It what I've just known for seven years is different now. That's weird. Yeah, everything changes. It's taking care of yourself as an adult sucks. It's hard, and I failed at it miserably. Taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 44. 43 now. 43. What did you say? I thought you said 44. No, I didn't say shit. You guessed 44, yeah, but guess. you weren't too far off. But I thought you were 44. 43. Um, I, I do can't. better now, thanks to Elizabeth. But That's good. Before Elizabeth, I was a fucking wreck, bro. I definitely, uh, I definitely have the... But I think if I would have found comedy sooner, mm -hmm. I would have settled my life out a little bit for this purpose. I've never been more in, in love with something other than my wife and kids. It's comedy. Yeah. I, uh, it's a different kind of obs – I'm obsessed with it. I, I, dude, I am too. Like, it's I, insane. I used to be obsessed with music and writing music, and I still am. But, like, I mean, one reason my, my bandmates don't live in town anymore, so it's, it's easier for me to just get a lot of my creative yeah. outlet. Or use use this and the comp and stand up. How do you write a joke? Um, are you a notebook guy? I have I write, I make notes. That's have, what I do. I, I can't. I, I used to write one. My handwriting's atrocious. Me too. I used to write. And the it, way I shorthand things, it doesn't yeah, work. I used to, but I, I use uh, the notes app on my phone. And uh, if I just, it usually starts with an idea. A lot of times, it comes through conversation and. I, that's another reason it's why online. I really like to talk to people on stage because, like at CCI, I've come up with some fun new tags to work on just by talking to mm -hmm. people that well, I would yeah. never. And so, I mean, people are like, oh, that's whatever. I don't give a shit. Like, I don't. They're. 
See, I'm nobody just can figure out. Nobody can tell you the the, the the straight path. You know what I mean? Like if you, it, it's a process for everybody. But I, I write a. But I don't know why anybody would tell you that's not a good idea to do that. Fuck that. That's stupid. I'm just saying, like, there are some people who are like, you know, but hosted. Yeah, but ask them how their show's going. Because they don't have them. Most because they don't. Because it's a pain in the ass. People, everybody wants to have an opinion on shit like that. Until you've run a show, fuck you, dude. It's such a pain in the ass. People, even a, a small open mic is a pain in the yeah, fucking ass. It is. <laughs> Producing a show, dude. I am. Uh, it's I hate tiring, it. man. It takes a lot of energy, and it takes a lot of energy to like bring back a room that the energy's been lost from. You know what I mean? Getting it back. That doesn't happen at Pivot shit. too much. No, but I mean, y'all aren't doing open mics. We're not doing open mics. That's this though. Wednesday, right? That is this Wednesday. This probably won't be out in time. It will be. It will be. I'll put it out on Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, a friend of Pivot is back, Paulina Combo, formerly of Nashville, now of L.A., I'm told. Uh, she's back in town with Courtney. Oh, Warner. I'm so Warner. War Courtney, shout out. Got, she got me my first ever show. Very funny lady. Yeah. yeah. Very, very funny she, lady. She runs a couple shows. Uh, Alex Schubert's making his pivot debut. Woo. I'm good and happy for the Shubes. I love Shubes. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Huge cock on that dude, I'm told. Very famous comic on his podcast reports Alex Shubes. Huge cock on that guy. A Huge. very famous comic? Yeah. Really? He's, friends, well, he's friends with a lot of famous comics, but a very well-known comic. Reports. That's Huge piece. I'm an, old, I'm an old boy. Way to go. And uh, Aaron Thomas Wrighton. Yay. Louisville. From Louisville. Louisville Comedy Club's very own. Hell so, yeah. And Jenny Dryden and a guy named Dan West out of somewhere is doing a pop in set too. So That night. There's a lot of people. Hey, know. fuck it. I don't care no more. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? Uh, yeah. People, uh, I say yes. I'm gonna let... Am I still on the March one? Brad Sativa. Will be in town. His name is Sativa. You don't know who Brad Sativa is? I don't. From Nashville? I do not. I'll check him out. I don't know. Maybe. I'll. I, Wait till I, this dude's this close to being a household name anyway, but he's ungodly funny, bro. Brad Sativa. Maybe yeah. I do know him. I just don't know him. Brad Sativa. This is riveting, isn't it? Comedian Brad Stiva. I I don't I, I did not know him. Forgive me, Brad. Yeah, he's, he has his own zany show on the weekend. It's called Brunch, oh, Sunday Brunch at Zanies. Why am I be there in March? I'm looking forward to being on that. You're on that. How much time you need me to do? Five. Yeah, you can get five. I'll give you my best five. No pivot joke. That yeah, rule still stands. Okay, questions. If I, on my second, hopefully, second call back to pivot, whenever that comes, can I do the pivot joke? I don't even know what it is. I've just been told it's awful. Can I tell you? Yeah. Okay, so the joke is I was just going to get up on Can stage. I take a stab at it? Yes. Is it about a, like a pivot girl, like a pivot? No. A jack off, like a no. jerk, circle jerk? It's not sexual. I am blown away. It's, it's not, not a circle sexual. jerk. It's not sexual. It's not even, it's very, it is the, it's a very G-rated joke. My apologies. It's It's like. My apologies. It is. It is uh, My apologies. It's borderline like. Racist? Robin Williams. Oh. Silly. Okay. Because so, I guess it's kind of physical comedy, but my plan was to go up on stage you know, introduce myself and then just like uh, physically pivot in a circle, like <laughs> like in basketball, just pivot around. And Why? Then, because we're at pivot. <laughs> that was my joke. I still I still stand by it, dude. Imagine being in a room full of people and doing that, and be, then be like, "What are you oh, doing?" You and then. And then they I forgot about this march. <laughs> we're f we're Brad, all full of bitch. Brad <laughs> mentioned something like he's bringing everybody or something. <laughs> it was weird. I I'll, let me get back to you. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think what but else. Maybe on your second time. You <laughs> tell that joke, dude. Room full of people. I'm 
it might work. I don't know. We'll try. Right. Uh, let me tell you. Why don't you try? Philosophy wise, <laughs> I don't like to swing at mites. At what? Like might work. I like to work. I like to swing at should. Should work jokes. Yeah. That should be your goal. I don't know. I'm. I still feel like I I'm, love. I love when one works. I love when a joke works. Like when you're like, ah, oh, yeah, I knew it was gonna work. Like, if, like if you went to a comedy club called like. Push I hate when I'm sitting on one and it's going to be a minute before I get a chance to go to get to get on stage with it. What if you had a, a show at P, at Peoria Push Ups Comedy Club and you just got up there and you just did some push ups on stage? That would. Are be, you still trying to sell me on the pivot? Joke? I am. I, I think John, under no circumstances would I think that joke is funny. It's funny. You wouldn't even. They wouldn't even know that you were pivoting. They would just be like, "What is he? Is he? Is he hokey pokey?" I'm turning myself around or whatever. Oh, I bro. Uh, I really, you're making me really not want to put you up on Wednesday. I swear I won't do it. Or March. Come on. You know I won't let you. June's the fifth year anniversary, and that might end up being the last show for Pivot. Well, let me do it on March. You're about ready to hang it up. You heard it here first, folks. <sighs> Ooh, hold on. Let's see. Might be spicy now. I don't know. You're Still a going. First. I don't know. It's just it's hard, especially when Jeremiah moved. It's just hard. Because he's you. still he's still ghost booking. Ghost booking. Because he wasn't even gonna do that. And I'm like, dude, I don't, I can't. Oh, he's I, he's just booking it, and then telling you who's coming. He might come up and host one or two of them, but he asked me to book. Because I mean, it helps. It's good leverage, and he helped build it up to what it is, man. So should I? Because I mean, a couple people were like, "Hey, you want me to?" You, I think you were one of them that volunteered to help, and so did some other people. But yeah, man. it's just if it's you such a pain in the ass. Any, it's such like, a pain in the ass. Any audio, video, pit, whatever. Let me know. It's not my bag, baby. That's what I'm saying. If you need any help with but, that shit. All right. Well, it is officially nine o'clock. It is nine o'clock, and the roads are getting shitty. Yeah. Uh, Mike, anything else? Where, where can everyone uh, look me up? Uh, Instagram, Mike underscore isn't underscore funny. That's a terrible IG handle. Uh, you can look up Mike Fields, it should come up the same. Um, I got a lot of dates coming up, but it's all over the place. I don't have them in front of me, but the next couple of weeks are real busy. But uh, so just check Mike Fields yeah. on Facebook. You can see all your dates and see there. all the dates on, on, on picture okay. there. I'm, website coming soon, but not um, yet. I uh, don't tell February 17th, yeah. February 24th. Hurricane West Virginia, if anybody from West Virginia is watching. What it, it's what way better than the old time I was there after I've only been doing it a year. <laughs> I'm a lot it? better than I was four years when ago. When is it? February 18th. The Saturday. The, the, yeah, we have don't tell here. Then Don't tell. Uh, that I'm, following week, I'm doing the 24th, I'm doing... Uh, Third Coast Comedy Club yeah. in Nashville. Nice. And I'm trying to get on Zany's new material Monday on that following Monday, but the Saturday. What kind of the favors you gonna call in for that? That's a that's a heavy hitter show, bro. I mean, I have I've, I've submitted. I mean, you just gotta keep submitting. That's what everyone told me. You just did they open that up to other people? I thought that was just for like Chance and Aaron and no. Nate, mm -mm. And Theo and Josh and them. No. Locals can get on that too. Uh, yeah, I've nice. seen a few Nashville locals. Be it's a long shot, but it's cool. Sure. You know, hey. um, the, the only yeah, the only the, Nick Cheney always said, uh, "Close mouths don't get fed." That's right. So if you ain't out there asking, you ain't getting shows. The uh, and then last one to put works. the February twenty fifth. I'm doing a show in Pulaski, Tennessee, at nice. this place called Restaurant Two Eighteen. But oh, I'm so sorry. I interrupted you. Yeah, Restaurant 218 on February 25th. Uh, Chance Willie's headline. Fuck yeah. And Chance is great. Jimmy Hatcher from Nashville is featuring. I don't know who that and is. I'm hosting. I'm just doing nice. 10, 10 or so at the top and then hosting. It's my hometown, and they're coming down from Nashville with me. So it's the first time. Yeah, for Chance me to Willie is worth every penny. Go oh, see yeah. him. Chance Willie, shout out. I, I, and if he's bringing that dude, I'm sure that dude's. Oh, Jimmy is super duper funny. I've seen he's Jimmy. A killer. Jimmy was the first comedian I ever met in Nashville, and he's like, he's so fucking chill. Nice. He's the, he's so funny. And I met a new one out of there not too long ago named Drew Harrison. Drew Harrison. He was. Uh, I think that's his name. He was. He was opening for Dusty. Uh, super duper fucking oh, funny. Oh, I know him. Uh, Does he have curly hair. 
Kind of. Kind of looks like Noah Hill, sort of. Yeah, yeah, I know Jonah him. Jonah Hill. Yes, yes, I know him. He's he's yeah, real funny. Fun. Oh, I, my God. I saw him. He opened for crusher, Dusty. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a crusher. But, uh, Mike, thank you for... Hey, man, thanks for... I'm right. glad to finally be on your yeah, podcast, man. the John Bass podcast. I am his 57th favorite, his friends. And that's only because he had three cancellations today. That's right. Uh, you're my 57th favorite. Right. What was this call again? Where are you going to give me that hand job, man? On cam? What was this call? Or your jacket. Uh, this is a this is a shacket. A shacket. Shacket. All right, let's look into the camera for the uh, for the thumbnail, okay? All right. Thanks, Mike.